everyone welcome back is it okay to still stick with english for disappointment and use of visual and auditory for learning methods um like we have in the previous appointments of course dr it sir <laughs> okay so today we're going to cover how to use different inhalers um the, well, the inhaler devices this is important to know so that you are correctly and effect efficiently um taking your medication to help control and elevate your asthma symptoms before we start, do you have a nebulizer at home? I actually do not. Well, not anymore. Okay, so we're just going to focus on using a DPI and an MDI today. A DPI stands for dry powder inhaler. When using this, you push the lever on the side until you hear a click to access the mouthpiece. Close your mouth tightly, breathe in as fast and deep as you can. Think like if you're holding a burger um, stuck like with a milkshake. After each use, rinse your mouth and use use a wipe to clean the mouthpiece of the DPI. Um, your dose counter or indicator on the inhaler will also let you know when you need to be um, replacing it or refilling it, okay? Um, why does he have to rinse his mouth out after every use? Correct me if I'm wrong. It's to have, for each rinse, it's because of the dry powder and... If I don't rinse that off, it causes the irritation and inflammation, right? Um, I think if you don't rinse, it can also cause <clears throat> oral thrush, right? Correct. The next one is as um meter dose inhaler. This type of in inhaler holds the medication in the canister. You want to make sure that you prime it by shaking it and giving it one to two um test sprays before actually using it to make sure you're getting the correct dosage. Be sure to use your spacer with your um, MDI. A spacer is a chamber that attaches to your um, MDI inhaler, which can help you take your medication slowly without aerosol escaping. Using this is important because you are um, getting 40% more of the medication by allowing you to efficiently inhale it. So once you've primed your inhaler, you're going to insert it into a spacer. Seal your mouth around the mouthpiece, press down uh, on the inhaler slowly and deeply. Try to hold your breath for five to 10 seconds to get the medication deep into your lungs. If you need another puff, wait 60 seconds and then repeat. Lastly, rinse your mouth with water after each use. Um, how do we know that we need to refill it? Is it the same as the DPI? So it depends. Some DMIs have a dose counter, but if it doesn't, it should have a label on the box that tells you how many puffs um, are in the inhaler or how many it contains. If it doesn't have a dose counter, um, talk to your provider to have a better estimate of how long the inhaler will last. That That's starting to make sense. Okay, so but how do we clean this type of inhaler since it's different? So so to clean the spacer, um, soak it in warm um, soapy water and let it dry. You can also um, clean the mouthpiece of the inhaler by using a wipe. Another part of, of proper care of your inhaler includes where you should store them. You want to place both the DPI and MDI in a safe space where it won't get too hot, too cold, and kept dry. Is the bathroom cabinet okay? That's actually not a good idea because um bathroom can hold moisture and humidity, which may clump your um and dry your powder altogether and alter the state of your medication. Now remember how we talked about how we have um we have rescue drugs during an asthma attack. So, um, should I even keep this inhaler in the cabinet at all times? Um, no, he shouldn't because um we need it for a quick access just in case of an emergency. Exactly. We will prescribe a quick reliever inhaler for you to carry at all times. You should always make sure that you have this um just like with you just like um your keys or wallet before leaving the house. I know we've covered a lot today, so let's have a quick review. How can you tell when your inhaler needs a refill? Um for the DPI, I know it comes with the dose counter. Um if it doesn't or no, the MDI, um, some might have it, but if it doesn't, we should talk to our provider to get more information on how long it will last. Okay, great. Um, when should you use a spacer and what is the last step after using your inhalers? 
You should use the spacer with the MDI and rinse your mouth after using it each time. That is correct. Last question. Where should you keep the um, quick relief inhaler? Me. It should be kept with me at all times. And just in case, if I start having an exacerbation or any symptoms at all, for an emergency, maybe. Start yes, good job. It seems like everyone has a clear understanding of how the inhaler works and um and proper care for them, which will uh benefit Ivan by treating his asthma correctly and allowing him to live a healthy life. Um, we'll see you in the next visit, okay? Asthma lives matter.